Ciao guys, it's Ivood here. So I was finally able to let work the last Fast Insider build on my PC to give a sneak peek to the last update with the Skyloft and the haptic feedback for SteamVR and other little improvement like more stability, performance, improvement for SteamVR and also a way to do the screenshot faster. So let's see everything together with the Lenovo Explorer now and let's just switch to the computer, shall we? Okay, here we are in the cliff house like always. So when we're gonna start it, we're gonna be as always in the same cliff house. So nothing different right now. Uh, what is different though that when we press start, we're gonna have this part here that is places so we can just go in places and select Skyloft at this point. Select, okay. Uh, so it's gonna create a little launch like application and it's gonna just move over there. So let's see it together. And here we are in the Skyloft, okay. It took a while to load the, the sky, of course. Uh, so let's see from the beginning over here. Okay, so of course we are in a loft so we are pretty high up in the city and this is the new environment i would say so we have some windows over here what's behind here pretty nothing but some shelves and marble places let's see the ceiling and let's move like this so it's a little easier so we can go around and here seems like to be a big huge part and this is gonna be the living room i guess so let's see it together let's go down here and to sofa here there is a table that's pretty high if you are sitting right now now having this table makes me think why we're not able to invite other people in our environment because it would be great to have a table to like collaborate or share stuff like happens with facebook spaces but still uh it's gorgeous that we are over here look at the view it's amazing really but i i don't recognize it at the city if you recognize it uh leave in a comment below because i don't know what city could be but anyway the fact is like we are still not able to do no this is not san francisco right no it's not it shouldn't be but anyway we are still not able to do anything else than just going around and use our our browser our like mail the microsoft stores our calendar uh it's just still pretty limited and feel always empty and here there's another big room with some little islands and here we have skype and hologram oh nice background for skype though so hologram here Let's open it, so let's see if there's something new in the holograms. But... It doesn't really look like. And here we are. Okay, still, dive into immersive game and video, Steam VR. Steam VR, blah, 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 Steam VR. Oh, nice, now they are sponsoring directly Steam VR. Uh, by the way, how to open Steam VR? Still, we have another problem because we still don't have, if I'm not going wrong, any Steam VR shortcuts in the start menu. From adjustment, blah, blah, blah. Nothing, so the only way to do it is still to open the desktop and start it from the desktop. Let's get in the desktop and let's close it here a second. Let's go to Steam that is downloading right now. 
and let's switch to Steam VR. Okay, here we are in Steam VR. So let's try a game where we're gonna still, like, we should have like uh, haptic feedback on our controller. So let's start Space Pirate Trainer. Pretty, pretty easy game. And let's see what's going on. Of course, like installing a new build, I don't have the snapping turn enabled in the locomotion right now. I'm gonna have to enable it again. Okay, and here we are, and there's the vibration. Let's see if I can let you hear it. I'm gonna put it on the microphone. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it, but there is the vibration right now and that's pretty cool. Finally, we have update feedback also on a mixed reality. Yeah, exactly how you would expect it. And here we are. Let's go back home or oh, let's wow. Yeah, so here now there's Steam VR, but I don't think we can just place it there, but in this way now is a little nicer already. Probably a tile is gonna come soon. Of course it didn't stop the game, so I'm pretty much dead. But let's try to do a uh, sorry if I'm screaming, but I had um Thing. let's try to do a screenshot so it should be holding windows and and push the trigger so I don't know if I'm doing it I hope so but let's go back now okay guys it was pretty much it uh, I have to say that I kind of like the new Skyloft but as a cliff house, it's always been kind of empty. There's not much to do. I have to say that they are refining a little the link with the Steam VR. So now it's gonna look like a real tile and not just a blue box. And that's nice. And I hope it's gonna bring a link soon so we can just start Steam VR directly without going through the desktop because it's not there yet. By the way, I think the biggest improvement overall is the haptic feedback to the controller. So finally, when we have some gunplay, we can feel our controller rumbling and that's gonna give a little more immersion for sure. But overall, I would not suggest to switch to the fast ring insider just to have this little improvement because it's nothing major, nothing that worth to ruin your computer overall uh, if you are already in the insider that's something you can enjoy but it's gonna come pretty soon for everybody in april so just wait and don't worry you're not really missing too too much anyway guys if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike let me know in comment below what you think about it and subscribe to the channel for more about vr and tech in general from the pax and d3 to where we're gonna go so thank you so much for watching again. I see you guys in the next video. Ciao.